Austin's Formula One race will stay on life support for at least one more week. Today was supposed to be the deadline for local Formula One organizers to strike a deal with racing boss Bernie Ecclestone. That did not happen. And now Ecclestone is giving those behind Austin's Formula One race until December 7th to get everything worked out. KXAN's Reagan Hackleman joins us live from the side of the track with more. Reagan. Well, Leslie, yesterday it looked like this race was done before it even started, but today there is a little bit of hope that this race will actually take place. Now, Ecclestone told the Associated Press today, and I quote, it would be a loss to everyone if it didn't happen. I'd rather see the race happen than not. The problem, the local race organizers have not been able to secure the 250 to $300 million needed to pay the race's sanctioning fees over the next 10 years. Those behind the Austin track say they have the money to pay the first year sanctioning fee and a plan to pay the rest, but Ecclestone wants a guarantee in the form of a letter of credit. Originally, the money to pay the sanctioning fees was going to come from the state of Texas, but last month, state, state comptroller decided not to pay the money in advance of the race because the finances were too risky. An independent audit of the state's numbers showed the economic impact done by the state to justify paying the $25 million per year was inflated. I think the primary thing that failed for the track here in Austin is their business model was overly, overly reliant on the public subsidy. Now, Ecclestone has set the new deadline for December 7th. That is next Wednesday. That deadline is also the same day that the World Motorsports Council meets and finalizes the race schedule for F1 for the 2012 year. Ecclestone has said that if they cannot come to an agreement by next Wednesday, then this race will definitely be off. Reporting live from just outside of Elroy, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.